Well, first of all, thank you uh, to the WTO for inviting us to share our experience on such a wet day, which is a perfect experience <laughs> about <laughs> waterfalling. And well, uh, I will explain shortly, in 10 minutes, uh, uh, both the experience of Valencia and the case for this program, the Gas Water Project. Okay. Water, as Dirk said, is in our, it's in our, our DNA. We have, we, Valencia is located, situated on the Mediterranean coast of Spain, in the east and in the center. And we live uh, 1.5 million people living there in this urban area. And we're welcoming around um, 2.5 million visitors every year. So we have to, to, to manage carefully this resource in our dry side of Europe. But uh, we have plenty of, of water. We have not only the seawater, but also the biggest lake of Spain is in the city, which is this wonderful natural park. And uh, on the north and the east, we have all these fields feeding the city with fresh uh, vegetables every year, every, every time. We have all this network of water um, integrating the, the fields so uh, the water, it's our blood, you know? So we are, it's, a, it's, a, it's a living uh, a landscape that is used both for living and for visiting. But uh, water management is not a trending topic nowadays. It comes from the old ages, from the Muslims, uh, when they created this water court, which in fact is the oldest uh, justice institution in Europe. And it's running and it's recognized as a world heritage and this is the sheriff of the water. And those are the wise men uh, judging how the water must be used. And their decision is even above the constitution. So nobody can claim against their, their resolutions. And water, it's everywhere. It's our landmark. And nowadays the water is uh, managed uh, since the beginning, I said, in a smart way. This is our company, a local born company, Global Omnium. <laughs> Thanks. It's our sponsors. And <laughs> they are, we're proud to, to, to have them as our, our allies in water management and now in tourism management because they have applied this digital transformation. So we can, oops, uh, one more. Can you? Stop. Ah, okay. So we can say that we have this world record on, on water efficiency management, which is 87%. And it's not an estimate, it's not a sample, it's real because they invested money and time to create this sensory network, which is measuring every single drop in the, in the, in the city. So they have uh, applied all this knowledge and this uh, intelligence uh, to the city. They are measuring every corner, every user of water. So they know uh, when the water is, uh, there is a leakage, when it's an overuse, when it's a, any problem, even they're using this for safety and for, they, are, they, can, they have patterns. So they can say to the user or a relative your mother isn't, uh, is not using water this morning. Maybe this is a problem and that happened. So they called the, the police. They went to the, to the house and in fact, uh, it was real. The woman was feeling, uh, was in, uh, laying in the, in, the, in the bed because they had a problem. So they, they can't control this. It's not like Big Brother. <laughs> but, but on the other side, they give us this, uh, all these dashboards that can be used for any kind of use, but you know, water is everywhere. So we are water and we can be measured by water instead of using other difficult indicators maybe. But uh, that's, sorry, uh, 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 that's the city, but what about tourism? Well, Visit Valencia is a non-profit foundation. And since the 91, we are, we are working on promoting and marketing our destination. We have uh, created, created this monster of tourism, as 
some neighbors are already uh, calling it. We have created a destination where this wasn't there wasn't uh, any any tourism beyond some business tourism. Now we have more than five million overnights in the city in accommodation and regulate accommodation plus all these short terms and well all these non-regulated. And in our strategy, besides all this promotion, marketing, and more, 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 uh, in the, our strategy plan, we included new words like governance, and like sustainability and accessibility. So we have four pillars in our strategy. One of them is a smart and sustainable destination, and that's my field now. When I put the radar on what on how to do it, how to change our vision from marketing and promotion towards sustainability, uh, well, I found this amazing program because well, yesterday we were introduced to the Eurostat by Christophe, and I want to introduce you to these uh, funding programs. One of them is Interreg Mediterranean. This is a huge program by the, the, the European Commission, and one of them is sustainable tourism. There are several projects included where, where many, many countries and institutions or universities and the academic field on the promotion on water management, and all the kind of resources are involved. At, uh, we finished on this cloud of projects, which are all related to sustainable tourism. So, for instance, in my city, we, we participated in Alter Eco, in Sirocco, Tourism Med, Mitomed Plus, where Andalusia is leading, uh, Herit Data, um, uh, in Herit nowadays, and uh, Coevolve, and the one, Cast Water. Why Cast Water? Because, well, uh, as I said, water is, uh, is a key issue in, in our lives. and for tourism, we didn't have this, um, these indicators. We didn't have the picture of tourism impact on water. So that uh, could be a solution. The objectives of the, uh, well, all this uh, information is on, on the, on the gas water um, website. So please go, uh, go there. Uh, well, but there were three main objectives to identif identify gaps of knowledge and uh, on the potential impact that we didn't detect, to develop common tools that we could use this knowledge to make solutions, and finally to develop a pilot test, which I will show you now. But uh, better than me, I'll show you the, the video. Let's uh, come on. Oops, it's not. Um, the, the sound. The sound. It's, sorry. Ah, okay. So it's a short video to summarize the project. Due to the growth of tourism, the demand for water puts pressure on the supply capacity of the Mediterranean coastal areas which can negatively affect the natural and cultural heritage. In the last 50 years, the demand for water in the Mediterranean Sea has doubled due to tourist consumption, since a tourist consumes twice as much as a resident. In the case of the city of Valencia, in 2018, a historical record was broken, with more than 5 million overnight stays in hotels. With this growth, and the forecast of steadily increasing demand, Valencia's tourism strategy has opted for sustainability as one of its fundamental pillars, sustainable management, in which water plays an essential role. Valencia is not alone facing this environmental challenge. To address it, Valencia has allied with European entities and cities from Spain, Italy, Cyprus, Greece, France and Croatia, with whom it shares a challenge of reducing the negative impact of tourism activities on the environment. In order to offer effective solutions, the city and its tourism sector participates through the Visit Valencia Foundation in the European Cast Water Project with the aim of improving the efficiency of the use of water 
that the tourism sector is making in Valencia. Organizations and companies from six Mediterranean countries have worked for three years to identify the water use needs of tourism. Sets of specific indicators have been drawn up, good practice manuals have been designed, training and knowledge guides have been prepared for public managers, and an innovative online self-assessment tool for countries has been programmed and tested, which also allows destination authorities to analyse and monitor the efficient use of water by all the actors involved. Actions of Visit Valencia is carrying out in Valencia as part of its development and promotion of sustainable tourism strategy. So that's the website you can visit. And well, uh, let me go through it in a bit more detail. Uh, these are the partners, which is essential like here to benchmark, to, to compare, to get good practices. It's very different in Malta from in Spain, south of France than in Veneto. But we can learn a lot by benchmarking and working together. Uh, so the objectives I said before and will explain in the video were to enhance the, the evaluation, the assessment. We did, we did have a lack of knowledge. Uh, we have maybe this, uh, all these indicators on the city, on a resort, on a destination, but what about tourism in particular? So that was the objective, to improve that knowledge, to shorten the data uh, gaps, and get some comparability also to learn what else are, in, what, uh, are doing all the comp other companies, other institutions, other countries to solve my problem. So uh, first, there's a, there are two blocks of deliverables, let's say. First of all, research and knowledge. You can get all this kind of knowledge there, which includes, for instance, for public administration, there's a, there's a knowledge toolkit, how to learn, how to do it, how to, to improve. There are comparisons between different areas. So mine is an urban area, others are camping areas, others are an island. Uh, so so you, can, you can get different uh, practices, you can get different experiences, and we are finalizing these policy guidelines, some recommendations both for destinations, countries, even the European Commission, how to improve this uh, water management in tourism. All of them are available on, on this uh, database, which is sort of public documents because are funded by, by the, the, the EC. And the other is the, because the, the online tool is addressed to do to, to kind of targets. The SMEs and the public administrations. The SMEs have to fill a questionnaire, I will show you uh, quickly, and the public authorities. Why? Because, because thanks to the information given by the SMEs, the destination has the complete map. So you can scale and you can get the real picture of tourism and the, the SMEs can learn how to improve their efficiency on water management. Public authorities get these two kind of information. On one side, they've got all the statistics on the mm, assessment of their water policies. They get the feedback from the companies about how they feel the policies are really effective, uh, can be improved, and how. And on the other side, they have all this uh, picture of where it's more used, where we have to, to improve infrastructure, etc. And for the SMEs, which uh, that was the, the, the more interesting part for, for us, it's a tool that they can self-assess. So they can fill the questionnaire, which is uh, divided in four sections about water saving technologies, about awareness, about the policy framework where we are working, and the, uh, the water availability and quality. There are, well, it's translated in all those the languages or, uh, corresponding to the members. And once you have filled the questionnaire, you get a feedback, which is essential. Um, and all you have, uh, you have talked about 
uh, when you are asking for help, you are asking for information, you are asking for time, you have to give back some kind of result to be uh, effective and to get more responses in the future. So the project was, mm, that was designed to get all this information, to uh, compile and to give back both ratings and recommendations. Ratings, you have four kind of uh, assessment areas, you, you, you have to see there, and uh, overall rating about how you're performing on water management. And finally, you get recommendations. So you put the questions, you, are, you underline the red dots, but uh, above all, you give recommendations. Okay, we have done all this research, you, you, have, give, you have given my, um, our, uh, as the, your, your state of the art, so let's compare and uh, let me help you. So that's the more useful tool, I, I, I can guess. It's a small sample, it's a small contribution, but I think uh, we are proud to, to be part of it, and uh, I think it, that's kind of modular projects in the EC scheme are quite uh, useful. So thank you for, <laughs> for all, and don't hesitate to contact us or uh, check in on the website about all this kind of information which is uh, open. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.